some ghost balls out again, so you better piss and play with them this time. Look at these ghost balls. Dark eggs, you know <laughs> Mom is pilfering stuff from the hotel bathrooms. If no, I am not. That. I took goat milk soap. I took the goat milk <laughs> soap that I already washed with and that your dad bathed with. Yeah, and that I he really be likes it, so. because it makes his skin soft and doesn't dry him out. <laughs> makes it silky smooth. <laughs> now this it? is yeah. your dad, not me. I don't know, you're the one saying it. Dad didn't say it. No, you ask him. He is the one that said it. Dad, did you say it? Go to milk, go. You put it on and you can't like hardly rub it because it sticks so bad. And that stuff was, it was smooth and silky. Oh. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Hello folks and welcome to this very special edition of GLFA Outdoors. I'm your host Evan Nelson. Today we are taking you ghost hunting. We headed down to St. Francisville, Louisiana to the Myrtles Plantation to see if we could spot the elusive ghost or spirit as you may call them. I am recording from my webcam today because my video camera recently crapped out. So here I am, but we'll make the best of it. We've been perusing through some of our footage lately. There's a ton of footage and it's kind of a slow process, but I started putting stuff together. We got a few interesting things. So we'll kind of take you through it in a real time process per se. Uh, this is our third trip down there between the whole group and just honestly i wish we could see more but we've come up with a couple of things that are pretty interesting uh so sit back and we'll uh, kind of take you through them and we'll see what you think well folks here we are supposed to be departing south dakota for the myrtles plantation louisiana and uh what do you know, the biggest snowstorm of the season goes right through our path and completely screws the travel for the area. It's really dumb. Maria, your thoughts on the sitch? I'm cold and sleepy. Those are my thoughts. That's all thoughts I have. Stupid. Just stupid. at uh, Omaha. We only did like 190 miles or so and that was it. The roads are crap and we're stopped. Alright folks, we made it to New Orleans and uh, we came down to uh, do a little you know, historic sightseeing action at somebody's grave site. Tell us, uh, tell us what's happening here. Well, we took the trek down to the cemetery because it's where the voodoo queen, Marjorie Laveau, is buried. So we thought we were just gonna be able to walk down to the cemetery and see the cool grave site and then leave. But apparently you have to pay $20 a person to get in yeah. and see the tomb than to leave. So we decided we could spend $60 on other better <laughs> things. But if you look closely, I know it's a little difficult to see with the wall, but if you look really closely, you can you can almost see the grave. So, it's a very, very fulfilling experience right now. The whole time. And I had, I know I had at least like 50% on the battery. Yeah. But as soon as that happened in there, I went to door? take a picture, and it went to take a picture, and I was like, I'm to charge my battery. Really? And, and it was what's, fine right before what's the incident that you're referring to? What's the incident I'm mm -hmm. referring to? The cabinet opened itself. However, earlier this morning, just from walking on this deck, this cabinet opened itself. 
It was when that guy was wheeling that yeah. giant thing, so yeah, it was yeah. enough movement. Caused but so. when we close the cabinet, it sticks pretty good. If it was closed, it had to be pulled open pretty good. But what if it wasn't closed good enough? That's, what, that's what I'm saying. And like, if you step on floorboard and it kind of, eh, and then it's not tight anymore, but then you step off that floorboard and it's tight. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's old furniture. Is that your action cam? Yeah. Do I need to be actioning? Yeah. Look, it's a reenactment. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Let the ghost hunting begin. Right. We have a new trick to try. Um, these things are called thumb chucks, I guess, but we call them ghost balls. Uh, just little light up balls. Anything touches them or moves them and I'm thinking maybe just any kind of energy that might come close to them will light them up and we'll, we'll get some kind of signal. Question is, can we cut them in half? Are they tethered together? I don't think so, but I don't know if I have anything to cut them apart. That would look good in person. Yeah, that would work. What if it quits it? Then we're out of luck. Okay. We'll find out. All right, folks. Here at the Myrtles, we're uh, currently working on getting some cameras set up. Getting some cameras set up for tonight. We have one right over here set up in the. Uh, here in the caretaker's quarters and uh, having some technical difficulties here you can see we we got that view there I am videoing right there uh, we have another one set up here in the main house but we're seeing if we can work on getting a better camera angle if you want to say something yes. a cross oh my god dude it said a cross oh my god it said a cross and we just walked across oh. stuff oh my god it probably means a cross at the pond oh my god all right it took quite a bit of work but we finally got the video cameras all set up and running we got a camera in the main house a camera in the caretakers quarters we have my video camera that I use to just kind of roam around and set up in different places. And then also Maria is walking around with her action cam. And then on top of that, all the still pictures and video or audio recordings that everyone took. So there's so much footage, but now that it's time, let's sit down and go through what we have so far. All right, let's start with the stupid and pretty much discreditable orbs because they could be anything. However, they're orbs, so let's check them out. In this picture, you will notice that there is an orb to the right of the water fountain. Now, what makes it interesting is it appears that it seems to be moving in an upward motion. At least that's what it looks like to me. Uh, it looks like that it, it's moving up. So, I don't know. It's, it's an orb. That's all I can really say about it. We don't get too awfully excited about orbs. But, there it is. Okay, now in this picture that I took a little bit later, you will notice something familiar. The same looking orb that was in the by or in the picture by the water fountain now appears to be in the picture at the Coco house right down in front of the steps you will notice it and it's funny because once again it appears to be moving in an upward motion so I don't think it's any kind of you know raindrops or anything like that because they should be moving down not up 
So once again, it's an orb, but kind of interesting that I caught, I caught the same looking one in two different pictures several minutes apart. All right, this is probably my favorite thing so far. This doll on this table has a history of blinking or closing its eyes in pictures. And it, it's a porcelain doll. The eyes are, they're open permanently. They don't move or anything like that. Uh, we've checked it out on many occasions. Uh, you know, and we, we've taken a lot of pictures of it. But, so we'll show you, you know, here's a picture from far, farther away. Now here's it zoomed in. We can clearly see the doll's eyes are open just the way that they normally would be. Here's another picture from across the hallway. Uh, we'll just, we'll zoom in on it and show you. It's, it's farther away and it's going to be a little more grainy, not quite as good a quality. So there it is. But once again, you can clearly make out the doll's eyes are open. There's two dark spots where the eyes are. They're blue. They appear kind of dark from far away, but they are open. Okay, and now here we go. Here's another picture that's taken. We're not necessarily taking pictures of the doll. We're more taking pictures of the mirror because the mirror has a history behind it. The doll just happens to be sitting there. But there's the doll. Uh, she's just sitting there. So let's get ready and take a look zoomed in. Now, I don't know about you, but it appears to me that her left eye is definitely closed. It looks to me almost like eye shadow or something. And it looks like her eyelashes are down at the bottom of her eye, like closed almost like she's winking at me or something. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of strange, but it really looks like it's closed. But we'll uh, let you decide on that.